saved you. Again, just in case, because you never know. Jericho's here. Don't crash. Thank you. See how... <gasps> They're killing my new best friends! It is go time. Oh, I crippled his head. Probably with all of the bullets. So so much of this game is now super easy because uh, because of this mask. Is Hello, Feral. I think there's another Feral over there, too. And they just don't care. They don't attack Jericho, either, even though he doesn't have a ghoul mask. It's just like, oh, he's traveling with another one of us, so he's probably fine. Even though that doesn't make any kind of sense. But hey, I'm cool with it. Ah, who gives a shit? Oh, no, I didn't get any more ammo. It's the end of the world, guys. Hello, McFarrell. Howdy, buddy. I could start killing these guys, but, uh... I just don't care. They're just... They're mindless zombies that give me minimal experience, so... I'm good without doing that. For now. For now. I will get my experience from murdering hapless civilians. Much better use of my time. I can't remember where the fuck I have to go from here. Wait... Wait... No. I thought maybe there'd be a, a marking by the Brotherhood of Steel somewhere around here. It'd be like, go this way! But, uh... Oh, hey. Museum of Technology and Monuments. I think that means this is what I want. Right up there, maybe? There's green over there. There's lots of green over... Oh, that's him. Is there anything in here? No, there's nothing in there. Do I want to go that way? Or do I want to go... Oh, well... Marker seems to be saying I gotta go this way, so I guess we're going this way. Oh, yeah, there it is. Brotherhood Steel symbol. Southbound Museum Station. Alright, to the Museum Station. Time to find the Brotherhood Steel Mall Outpost. Should be somewhere down here. Well, not down here. Down this pathway. Not underground. But... Whoa! It's like something just went bounding through the shadows. What was it? No. Why? Good news is I didn't go very far from where I fucking... Kick ass! Kick ass! I'm gonna kick your ass! At least they got their one-track minds going. Make it very clear what their goals are. They don't, uh, they don't deviate. They're just like, this is goal! And then boom. Make it clear, from start to finish, that they're here to kick ass. Okay, fine, I'll actually do it this time. Wow. That was totally worth it, guys. Some nice 10 millimeter ammo. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so salty about this. There's another assault rifle, apparently, on that table. It was completely invisible, but sure. Oh, they killed two of them this time. Howdy, friendo. Alright, what's it? Whoa. Hi there. It was this way we had to go, right? Yeah. With what? Alright. Cool. Good talk, Jericho. I'm gonna repair my assault rifle, since I have more. And I have that capacity. There we go. Now it's back to being better than the Chinese submachine gun. Chinese um, assault rifle. I guess I could look to see if there was a, a jury rigged perk. One of the times I leveled up, that would have made things a lot easier. Maybe not a lot easier, but <clears throat> it would have given me the answer at least. I will say this: it's as much as it has crashed what three times now in seven videos. Yeah, this is the seventh video. Um. It hasn't crashed at the same place every time. It's been somewhere different each time. Which uh, really just means it's unpredictable as shit and there's no way to really tell when it's going to happen. Because this one made no sense. Same with the fucking Super Mutant crash. That made no fucking sense. At least with the loading crash. It's like, alright, I'm loading in. Let me see you, dog. Doggo. Whoop. I missed the dog. No, I didn't. I'm pretty sure I just watched one of the dogs lunge on the grenade. Oh. Die, 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 die. There we go. Good job, Jericho. Now throw the other one. 
Go kill the other one. Jeez. Alright, I think that means I killed one of them with the grenade. Right? Looks like it. Who's this? Oh, it's... it's. <laughs> Who's this? Ah! Sacks of flour. Exactly what I anticipated. Is this an exit or just... It's just a... Uh, I can't pick it. Perfect. Problem solved. Please only. Why does this feel familiar? I think there's something important back there. I can't remember what it is now, though. Whatever. I don't have the lockpick for it, so... Shame. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Eh. 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 What's up? Can you see him? Like, sniff at the door? What's up? Is there something you want, buddy? I gave you bread. What do you want? I gave him a treat. Thought he might be fine with that. There we go. Nothing that way. Alright. Hey! Dead Raider! These are probably traps. Keep my eye out for those. I want to walk into a fucking landmine or a tripwire that drops grenades all over me. Oh, well, we're just going to museum station. Oh god! I almost open fired on Jericho, despite the fact that there's no reason for me to shoot someone in power armor. It's just like suddenly someone appeared, popping up out of the ground in front of me. So it's like, shoot, kill him, kill him dead. Jericho would not have appreciated that. Oh, hey, Pharaoh. Another roamer, just a tier two. Boop. Look, a door. Oh, shit! I thought that was a feral rule right up until it, uh, right up until he pulled a gun on me. Ooh, Grognak the Barbarian. Increase to my melee weapons. Give me whatever you have on you. What? Hmm. Thought I heard something going to whiz it by my head as if someone was shooting at me, but I didn't hear any of the gunfire, just a bullet. It's very creepy. Raiders somewhere. We're still in Raider territory, so they're around here somewhere. I gotta go this way. I'm working on it. Jack O'Connor shit. Oh, hey! Oh, no, nope, reloading. Oh, 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 boy! Talk about meat tornado. And that's that's uh, one of the perks of Bloody Mess. People explode now. I think this is the way I want to go. Something about that light makes me think this is the way to the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, I'm on the right track. Eh? Oh, hey! There's one more. I mean, I haven't really done much running away or anything, so... Really, this is all your fault. You can't get to me. It's not that I'm not standing still. It's that you're just moving around. Oh, oh shit. Fine. I guess I'll repair some of this shit together. Maybe? No? Maybe? Yeah! Blah, 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 blah. There we go. That should free up some inventory space. Oh. Perfect. And the helmets. Oh. No. No. Yeah! Bam. I don't even know why I'm carrying around the helmets, honestly. Or the armor in general. Oh, right, because I'm a pack rat. That'll do it. Pack rat perk. Also, pretty sure that's not Fallout 3. No, it's so good in New Vegas. Is, did you kill the guy? I saw him running around. He told me to hold still. and I didn't hear any gunfire, but he doesn't seem to exist anymore. So I guess I'm going to assume he's either ran away or he's dead. I prefer to think of him as dead. Because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, cowards are basically dead. He's right over there. Nah, I guess he's dead. Alright, well, sucks to be him. Not really, uh... Not really any skin off my teeth. I feel like there's super mutants this way. And landmines. I feel like there's landmines somewhere around here. Drugs? Drugs are cool. Who doesn't love drugs? Oh, right, right. <laughs> take all! Take all! Why am I not taking all? Oh, not in the... Not in the thing yet. 
Ve Ejiji beji Ejiji beji Ha Take off Gunch module Drugs Drugs Beer Eh, beer's drugs More or less Alcohol is a drug I'm still waiting to spot some landmines here The fact that I'm not Is confusing But okay I'm, I'm, I'll accept it I'm gonna do some healing Because we're about to go into No Man's Land Pretty sure If we are where I think I am That should do it I'm also gonna save Because I don't want the game to crash again Alright in we go to the mall. Let's go to the mall. Ooh, Jesus. How many malls are filled with this? Ever been to a mall that's a war zone? I mean, other than the one in uh, Night of the Living Dead. Day of the Living... Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead, that's the one. Man, there's fucking enemies everywhere. Ow. How do I get to you? Gotta be a path around here somewhere. Ah, uh, nope. I was about to say aha, but that's. Oh, hi! Even more super mutants. Can't, can't be, eh? That's unfortunate, because it very much is. You can keep your fucking mail board. That's, that's cool. Come on. Oh, shit. Sucks to be you. Yep. Well, that's not good. Is there anything over here? Well, there's gore bags. Lots of ammo. I don't need mutilated corpses, though. That's cool. Meh. Why did I just... Oh! That's why... Well, hopefully that wasn't a, con a chunk of Jericho. That's really all I have to say about that. I feel like that was Mr. Minigun blowing up a car. Why, why are all these guys holding combat knives? We wanted to take on the super mutants too, so we took out our Bowie knife and was like, Huzzah! Then we all died. We were shocked. Well, I mean, we were dead, but we were shocked. Is he still up there? Yeah, he's still up there. Can I get a. Oh, well. The long way around for nothing. And Jericho already got the kill. Oh, you have the assault rifles. Excellent. Alright. Eh? Yeah. Who's alive? He's alive. There's two of them alive up there. Oh boy. Jericho. You're a fucking beast, man. Mr. Minigun's still alive over here, too. Excuse me, Mr. Minigun. Oh, you don't have a minigun anymore. Alright, never mind. Thank you, Jericho. Work away across this guy. Please tell me that car is not about to blow up. It's the last thing I fucking need. Hey, I leveled up. Is there still. I guess there's not still two people over there. Alright. This is bothering me. There we go. Now let's bring you to a 5, and then bring you up to 55. Yeah, that's really all that matters. Look at these things that I'm just not using. Alright, so, waste of time. Mmm, that might be good. Scrounger, you'll find considerably more ammunition. Normally I'd say that doesn't matter, but they say, ooh, strong back! There we go. That's what's important. <laughs> Especially when you're a fucking looter like I am. Oh, oh god, where? 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 You! Oh. Piss off with that shit, Jesus. God damn. Shooting people up in the middle of the fucking street. I'm just trying to look through my inventory. Maybe loot some of your dead friends, and you just. You have the gall. The gall to shoot me. Really? I. The way people raise their kids these days, you know? Just no respect. There's a guy down there. I'm just gonna... Yeah, just keep getting stuck in that wall, will No, no. Shame. Shame. Come on. Come on. No. Well, alright. Bye. Bye. Oh, never mind. Oh, boy. I, too, announce that loudly when I get hurt. I'M HURT! It's, a, it's definitely a thing that I need to know. I want to yeah, try something. Do I don't know if I have it still. Did I, sure. did I pick Give one up? I did. Have that. And have... Um, all of the ammo for it. Let's see what happens. It's 
see if you use it. Yeah. Well, he doesn't. Oh, he is. He is using the minigun. Amazing. This should be uh, kind of a nightmare for the super mutants. Because he's already seems to be fucking unkillable. Now, there's a big ass fucking hole here. And this big ass fucking hole seems to lead to a door. Monker. Hi! Hi! Okay, okay. And there it is again. We're 15 minutes into the game. We're like 20 minutes into filming. And it crashed again. Where was the last auto save? That's fine. Well, do it, man. You got the minigun. Show them how it's done. That many bullets, you probably could. Jeez, this guy's got a lot of health. It also helps that they're, like, not hitting each other at all. Well, he might have been hitting Jericho, but I don't think Jericho was hitting him. Did I loot this guy? Totally didn't. There we go. I'm gonna heal. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Well, drugs. Delicious drugs. Alright. Mmm, drugs. And right away. Okay, cool. So, what's the, the bunker? Is it a super mutant bunker, or was it like a bunker for some... Oh, it was a Brotherhood of Steel bunker that got uh, <clears throat> repurposed, if you will. But hey, good loot. Power armor, for one. Hey, uh, Jericho, I need to repair your armor. Come on. Yeah, kid. yeah, yeah just give me, your, give me your shit. Sure, give me whatever you got. But better yet, how about you give me what you got, I'll make it better, and I'll give it back to you. Does that sound good? I think it sounds great. Is that better? 20. Um, yep. That's just better. The ones that are designated as Brotherhood instead of Basic are better than the Basics. Yeah, what is it? Why I didn't have Brotherhood already sure. is Give me whatever you baffling to me, but sure. No, that's not right. There we go. Uh, where is it? There it is. But, but, exit. There we go. And they look the exact same, too. Like, what the fuck? Whatever. Whatever. D I just did more drugs. You know what I didn't want to do? More drugs. Ooh, ammo. So, yeah, this is a repurposed Brotherhood Steel bunker that we are now going to loot without any real um, problems. Just grab everything. That's a trap. Let's, uh, let's not get hit by that, shall we? Come on. Come on. All right, well. Whoop. Fucking shed engine. Oh, this is the other end of the bunker. Where does it spit me up? Into crash. Excuse me. Well, we found another body. Jericho, come here. My god, man, you really are a fucking beast. You ever seen anyone who can hold a minigun like that? Not only that, but they're putting it in the ground. Like, come on, man. Who's got that power? I don't got that power. You are moving your mouth, but you are not talking. See, man? Jericho. Beast. Let's do that. We're going to do that. There we go. What are we standing around here? Shh. Sure. Give me I asked you to let me see your inventory. I did not ask you to speak. I don't pay. I didn't pay you to talk to me paid you to be the badass that you are in my vicinity. That's really all I need. Uh, well, those are actually worth a lot. Those are not. So those are fine. <clears throat> no, no, no. Repairing this one. There we go. Gotta make sure we repair the one that I'm actually using instead of uh, breaking it down to repair the other ones. Because that would be annoying. I have another minigun. I could repair that with this. If I had known that, I would have done it before. Because I didn't remember that we just looted a fucker with a minigun. I'm not going through his inventory and doing the back and forth shit again. If I find more power armor, then I will. Because that shit over me like instantaneously. Oh, hi! 
You want to go unload on him? Oh, we already looted that one. Oh, there's more. God damn it. Fine. Oh, it's another minigun. Um, oh, shit. I'm out of ammo. You got ammo? You don't. Okay, well, time to switch guns. You guys knew, didn't you? You knew I was running out of ammo, and you said nothing. Not that you had any ability to say anything, but you said nothing. Alright, where is he? I saw him. He was shooting at me. Where'd he go? Is he running? Where's he running? Is he attempting to get to me? Just, oh, there he is. There's one. Well, that sucked. There we go. Oh. I'm just going to keep his attention. Jericho, you do your thing. Yeah. There we go. Where the fuck are with the minigun go? <sighs> Why is everything blowing up? Oh my god. Seriously, what the fuck? Jesus, Jericho, have you taken like any damage? Not really. Headshot. Headshot. Come on. Did I loot you? Yep. Oh, oh, come on. Thank you. Did you use all your ammo? Well, there's not going to be any ammo in there. Just give me the... Yeah, give me the minigun gun back. Sure. Give me that. Give me you you didn't use all your ammo. So why the fuck did you switch guns? Whatever. Take... Take all that. Just a second. Just a second. Again. I'm just going to... Combine all these together. So that increases damage too, so that makes it shut up. So that makes it worth it. Sure. Give me whatever you get. Uh where the f I went too far. Mini gun. There you go. Perfect. Oh, you know what it probably was? He probably used the minigun enough that it stopped doing more damage than his uh, assault rifle was. That would be a reason why he would switch back. Okay, sledgehammer. You know what? Let's go sledgehammer. That's a little th this is a little bit faster, like spike knuckles. But yeah, I, I feel like going heavy. I really I think it's time I start going back to the, my roots. Oh my god. Just a second. Yeah, kid. What do you need? I need to create your power armor again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with your mouth moving. You're not saying anything. Shit's weird. Oh shit, I can't upgrade your helmet again. Well, I guess I'll just have you hold on to yeah, both of them. What is it? Eventually it'll come in handy. Well, yeah, let me make it. Sure. Give me whatever you got. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Where the fuck am I going? Well, this place is walled up. Tighter than a fucking nins. Nins? What am I trying to say? Because I'm doing it poorly. Sledgehammer. Tighter than a nun's anus. That's the one I'm looking for. If you're a nun and you're watching this, how? I'm intrigued by how that works. I mean, maybe I just don't understand a lot of the vows you take as a nun. That might be what it is, but I'm pretty sure watching my videos is not exactly something to be on the list of approved materials. Um, but again, I know little to nothing. Just in general, not even just about being a nun, just... About everything. Why does this feel like there's something cool under here? I don't go over here. Waste all this time coming in here and there's going to be nothing. Yeah, I'm not jumping down. There's nothing there. Fuck that. They're just beds. Oh, there's ammo. I bypassed the door. Did I bypass the door? Yes. Yes, I did. The door's right over here. Here we go. Found the Museum of Technology. In we go. Wow. Well... Found me some super mutants. Woohoo. Retrieve the communication relay dish. I will. Bonk. Bonk. Good. Bonk. Bonk. We're using our own weapons against them. They'll never see it coming. Alright. Oh my god, all the bullets. Sledgehammer. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, well, never mind. No time for second bonk. Alright. There's probably more people coming, but I'm going to loot this room here first. Pencils! I need all the pencils. Turpentine, that's useful. Blamco mac and cheese. Random books. Broken terminal. 
Fancy lad, cat, cat, snack, cakes. Say it with me now, Cameron. Snack, cakes. Not cacks. Not fancy lad, cacks. Snack cakes. Ooh. Uh, M199 assault rifle. Well, there's nothing in there, Jared. Perhaps the most well organized weapon, well recognized weapon in modern U.S. military arsenal, the M199 earned its nickname the Backtalker. From the unusual report, the fire. From the unusual report, the firing mechanism makes it makes as it. What the fuck makes it as this sentence makes sense to me? Makes as it ejects a spent shell. Firing standard 556 rounds, the M199 is still the official infantry weapon of the U.S. Army. Pretty sure I have a bunch of those. On loan from the International Ordnance Museum, this case displays various types of weapons and ammunition used by the military in past conflicts all over the globe. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh. Oh, I remember that one. What the fuck is this? X-277 Viper Magnetic Rail Cannon. That was open. This is the only known prototype of the X-277 Viper magnetic rail cannon developed by the U.S. military by West Tech. Also commonly referred to as a rail gun, this weapon uses energy cells to propel a depleted uranium round across a series of magnets discharging it at an extremely high velocity. Deemed too costly to produce on a mass scale, the project was abandoned in 2044. All known from the International Ordnance Museum, this case displays the various types of... Yeah, that's... What's supposed to be over here? The Springfield Rifle Musket, 1861. The Type 1861 Springfield Rifle Musket was the standard weapon of the infantry soldier in the American Civil War. It is a muzzle-loaded weapon which fired a 58 caliber mini ball using percussion, percussion, yeah, percussion, percussion caps instead of the traditional flintlock. Almost a million of these weapons were manufactured for the soldiers during the war. All known from the international bullshit, 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 bullshit. There's no weapons. The Wright Flyer 1. Well, it uh, crashed then, it crashed now. This aircraft above, nope, originally Wright Flyer 1, designated, designed by Orville and Wilbur Wright on December 17th, 1903 in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, the vehicle performed its maiden flight for a mere 12 seconds, covering a distance of only 120 feet this historic event marked the first sustained, controlled, heavier-than-air-powered flight. Well, it's not doing that anymore, that's for sure. What's over here? Terminals I can access? Oh, there's a terminal I can access. Get out of the way! Terminal... Boop. Research, lab, something. Lab entry. Oh, boy. Well, if you didn't like listening to me before, here it comes again! The virus that, that has been plaguing our archetype model FF06 mainframe due to unknown attack has finally been localized by our research team and identified. After a complete cleanup of the mainframe's core, a hap I am happy to announce that the infection has been removed and the soul of this machine has improved. She has a soul. Uh, I think I'm reading these. I just started reading this backwards. Yeah, okay. We'll just start here and then read it up to there. Could someone please fix the planetarium projection system? The automated system that was just installed is prone to malfunctions at least once a week. We've had to interrupt the programming more times than I care to remember and end up taking over manually. I suggest we remove the system and bring back the human elements so the audience will feel more engaged. Hey! <laughs> automated system is prone uh, malfunctions at least once a week. <laughs> We've had to interrupt the programming more times than I care to remember! Topical. I'd like to lodge a formal complaint regarding the firearms exhibition that's planned for temporary display in the auditorium. Atrium? Atrium. With the world with the world's tensions this way, the way they are, I feel it's highly inappropriate to glorify these killing devices by promoting them as a tourist attraction. If this is some sort of patriotic gesture, then it is entirely lost upon me, and I urge you to rethink this decision. All right, all right that's fair. This is just a quick rundown of acquisitions we've had been we have been rewarded for 2078. If any of these interest you, please stop by and see me as we can discuss it or submit a standard research request before the cutoff date. All submission must be made by October 2nd, 2077. So now is the time to get them in. Supersonic airliner. Zax computer prototype. Original model T45D power armor suit. Laser pistol prototype. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think I'll find any of those here. This one. 
Our new addition to the Super Flight Gallery, the Virgo 2 Lunar Lander, hey, we're looking for that, is now open to the general public and ready for viewing. I want to extend a hearty thank you and job well done to the uh, blah, blah, to the entire research and restoration team for pulling that pile of junk out of the mothballs and putting it on such a fine shape. Putting it in such fine shape. Many sleepless nights were spent on this project, and as a small token of our thanks, we will find a substantial bonus in your next paycheck. Give each other a pat in the back. You've earned it. Wow, if only they did that with, uh, you know, game developers that work really hard for putting out games instead of, you know, firing them. Ooh, Stealth Boy. Stealth Boy. This is Robco Stealth Boy Model 3001, personal stealth device developed by Robert Mayflower. The Stealth Boy generates a modulating field that transmits the reflecting light from one side of an object to the other, making the bear almost invisible to the untrained eye. True, true. It works rather well, especially if you have a sneak of any level. I'm going to continue reading those, just because it feels right to give you as much information as possible. Ooh, museum information! More history! Oh, God. What the hell? Hashtag triple zero. Hey there, Jigs. I finally found a good place to ditch your share of the loot. It was a hell getting it here, but I made it. I left the unusual, I left the usual breadcrumbs all over some of the info terminals in this place. The computer system is a, security is a joke. Complete the sequence and you're home free. But make any mistakes, the system will lock you out. We'll meet up in the usual spot later. Good luck, Prime. I legitimately have no idea what that's about. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, wasn't it triple zero before? Uh, what? Uh, I want to say nine. Because he said prime. Fuck! I don't know. I don't know. Alright, exhibit guide. Transportation exhibits. Ooh. Museum of Technology proud to present a journey through the history of ground transportation. Take a step back in time and see the original steam-powered car and the development of intern internal combustion in it. Experience the rise of micro-sized nuclear power and walk through our two-story Mach fusion engine to see what happens firsthand when you turn the key. Exhibit sponsored by the Chrysler, 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 yeah, Chrysler Corporation. Robotics exhibits. The Museum of Technology is proud to own some of the original prototypes in the Mr. Handy, Mr. Gutsy, and Protectron robotics lines. See the developments of these metallic assistants and how they made our lives easier. Play our artificial intelligence game, oh dear, where you'll program a robot and watch it obey your commands in real time. <sighs> After seeing what makes them tick, you'll never look at your robot the same way again. The exhibit is sponsored by Robco, General Atomics International. Okay. Flight. Take the skies and soar above the clouds as you view our artifact. Art aircraft exhibits throughout the Museum of Technology, the original Wright Brothers Flyer, the vintage World War II P-51 Mustang, and several other artifacts. Uh, aircraft can be found hanging about the museum. Also be sure to visit and visit our flight experience gallery where you can take a simulated airline flight on board a full-size jetliner or step into the hair-raising, white-knuckling world of air traffic control in our Tower of Terror exhibit sponsored by Lockreed Industries. Well, that does sound like a nightmare. Space flight. Countdown to excitement as you take the st take to the stars in our brand new space flight gallery. Marvel at man's ingenuity as you view an exact replica of the Virgo 2 moon lander that participated in the flight first manned moon landing. Dabble with forces beyond your comprehension in our working G-Force simulator ride, or take to the stars in the... Copern... Copernish? Copernicus? Copernicus. I guess Copernicus. Copernicus Planetarium. Exhibit sponsored by the United States Space Administration. Back. Special events. Oh my god, it keeps going. vault -Tech's Vault of Tomorrow. Thanks to a generous grant from the vault -Tech Corporation, the Vault Tour is open to the public. Walk through a section of the actual vault and observe all the modern conveniences vault -Tech has added. It's now lit to its now legendary nuclear fallout shelters. Interact with the exhibits within the vault. See just how life within one of these subterranean marvels is as comfortable as living at home. Time tickets for the tour are now available at the information desk in the main atrium. Yeah, it's nothing like what the, the museum is, obviously. West Tech Power Armor Demo. <clears throat> West Tech, the world's leading arms manufacturer, demonstrates the T-51B power armor suit in our Darwin Theater. <laughs> Irony. <laughs> Darwin. <sighs> Darwin Award, killing yourself with stupidity. Demonstrating power armor. 
get first-hand look at how the armor is designed to defeat any type of adversary with an actual live combat simulation using robotic targets. <laughs> Darwin Awards, right there. It's, it's coming. I'm waiting. Time tickets are available in the information desk in the main atrium. Note, the liability waiver must be signed to attend this event. Darwin Award. Lecture, Oppenheimer's Folly. Oppenheimer's Folly, a lecture by Professor R.J. Gumby. Great name. His, this lecture explores the very real possibility that nuclear war may not be as far off as we think, and the effects of it, the effects it will have on the future of our planet. By illustrating past uses of smaller-scale atomic weapons, Professor Gumby will shock you, frighten you, and make you wish you could just duck and cover, as a book, to survive a real nuclear attack. Tickets are now available for this lecture series at the information desk in the main atrium. Okay, there's just one more. Just one more. Just, oh, there's two more. Planetarium tickets. Copernicus Planetarium is uh, subject scheduled to subject. <laughs> Copernicus Planetarium schedule is subject to change without notice. Please inquire at the information desk for tickets and tickets play, ticket prices. The long road to Mars, 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m. Take a simulated flight through the stars from our Earth to the Red Planet. Journey beyond the universe, 1:30, 3:30. What lies beyond our universe? Take a thre theatrical journey farther than anyone's gone before. Eh. We're all start, all just stardust. 12.30, 2 p.m., 4 p.m. This program asks a simple but thought-provoking question. Where did we come from? Zany Planet Show, 11.30, 12 p.m., 2.30 p.m., 4.30 p.m. Join Captain Space Galaxy. Captain Space Galaxy. They really, really thought long and hard about the name of that guy. As he travels the solar system and visits each of the worlds within it. Recommended for kids 4 to 10 years old. Well, I mean, if you're going to have people for 4-year-olds. Go. Boy, Gigatomax tickets? Gigatomax Theater. Scheduled is subject to change without notice. Please inquire. Yeah. Yikes! 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m. Cower in fear at all sorts of gigantic vehicles. Dry as, as all sorts of... I guess, kind of... Cower in fear as all sorts of gigantic vehicles drive at the viewer and give you a bug's eye view of oncoming traffic. Well, that sounds awful. Why would you want that? Roller coaster, 1 p.m., 4 p.m. Strap yourself in for the ride of your life. All for the safety of 300 seat gigamactic theater. All from the safety. Ride 10 of the world's most notorious roller coasters from the front seat. Sickness bags not included. Colonoscopy. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is this is not going to go anywhere good. 2 p.m., 5 p.m., 7 p.m. Using our special Gigatomics technology. Gigatomics. That's it. Gigatomics technology. You'll marvel the details on our three-story screen as you take a real-time voyage into a very familiar part of the human anatomy. Cram into the theater at three p.m. at two p.m. so you can ride up someone's ass. Sign me up, Captain. All right. Well, I don't even know what that fucking arrow thing was about. What tech museum? What? Finally found a good place to ditch your. Okay, so that doesn't help me. Cool. Uh, ooh, I didn't grab new coal yet. Let's go grab that. Uh, I can't remember if we have to go up or down to find the Virgo, so let's go through here. Where does this go? Well, no, it goes up, so I guess we have to be up. Any drugs in here? Nope, no drugs in the bathroom. I don't care. I'm gonna find out later there's like 600 caps inside that fucking toolbox I just ignored. <sighs> Too late now. It's long gone. Hello. Drugs. I like drugs. I like drugs so very. What the hell was that disgusting sloshing noise? Maybe it was all in my head. Hey, speaking of uh, lots of money. All right, I'm back upstairs now. This is a completely different room. I didn't expect this. Hello, Nikola Tesla. Museum maintenance. Oh, boy. Uh, let's make sure we get the. Yeah. Okay. So this is the first one. Due to the increased power consumption from the installation of the vault tech Vault 2, where three new reactors have been installed in the sub-basement section. This should help prevent any further brownouts. 
or full of blackouts in the visitors' galleries that we've been experiencing. Thanks for your patience during this transition. This is a general announcement to all employees who use the men's lavatory facility in the maintenance area. I have logged too many complaints that people are not flushing the toilets after using them. People who use the facility to relieve themselves expect a clean and tidy environment. To prevent this from becoming a reoccurring issue, card swipe access will now be required for each stall, which will log your name, time in the stall, and contents of the bowels bowl until such a time that we deem it no longer necessary. Okay, so one, people not flushing is disgusting. Two, that seems like an overreaction. After numerous complaints and a single pending lawsuit, oh no, the Giga, the Gigatomics Theater's sound system has been lowered from 130 decibels to 120 decibels. Please note that all employees working in or near the theater should still wear proper ear protection to prevent any permanent damage. All right. <clears throat> The planetarium recording system has been malfunctioning lately, causing the normally automated program to stop and repeat itself. If you observe this happening, please contact myself or chief of maintenance on duty immediately so the system can be restarted. We hope to have the issue resolved by the start of next year. They didn't. They, uh, they very much didn't because we can go to use it and it uh, still doesn't work. Hey, yes, please. Let's just turn these on to really add danger. Depending. No, all right. Uh, religions? Uh, it's probably an ing. Let's find another ing. Repaying. Repairing. I think that is... Oh, well. It's probably an ing, though. Recycling? Yeah. Yeah! Recycling. I figured it out. Smart. I just jammed my finger really hard into my temple. Kind of hurt. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to activate him. I can take on super mutants fairly easily. I don't need... I don't need the help of uh, turrets, or should I say, I don't need to have to fight. I don't want to have to fight turrets at the same time, because I don't have to. So I'm not gonna. All right. Well, now we're gonna go upstairs and find more exhibits. Oh my God, I was right. <sighs> this flag was recovered from the wreck of the USS Eben Atoll, a U.S. Navy cruiser sunk off the coast of Alaska in 2066 with all hands lost. The cutting-edge vessel's loss was due to nuclear torpedo strike from the U.S. Navy submarine, the USS Interference, during the Anchorage campaign. So, it was sunk by another U.S. Okay. The submarine mistook the cruiser for an enemy vessel during the radio silence and sunk it before obtaining visual confirmation. This ranks as one of the most tragic disasters in U.S. Navy history since World War II. Fair enough. What uh, what part of World War II? Because I don't know if Pearl Harbor happened in uh, in this game. Activate Overlooked Inventors. Okay, here we go. These portraits were created by the renowned contemporary artist Lincoln Myers to depict some of the more, the more overlooked American inventors. From top to bottom, left to right, Richard G. Drew, Adhesive Tape, 1925. James Riddy, Cash Register, 1879. Carl C. McGee, Parking Meter, 1935. And Mary Ad Anderson, Windshield Wiper, 1903. Uh, as far as I know, all of those, most of those dates are pre the split between our history and uh, Fallout history, so some of those might actually be true. Now, do I get another chance? Damn it! I was hoping there'd be the the numbers again, because he said he hacked into them, left a normal bracket on trail. Damn it! All right, well, it was worth a shot. Ba -ba 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 -da. Woo! Right, I was on drugs. Uh, that seems like the proper way to go. There's more exhibits over here. I'm going to let this one go wrong, long because it's going to be Museum Adventure episode. Ooh, more Stealth Boys. Uh, same information. Same information. I'm going to read that one again. This doesn't even have a plaque, so... What the fuck? Something popped up. Alright, weird. And there's nothing in here. Alright, cool. I got two stealth boys and nothing else. Not exactly a waste of my time, but <clears throat> not exactly the best use of my time either. Great. I was I was hoping to come back to <clears throat> I was definitely hoping to come back to one of these. 
Oh god, that noise. Right. That was a good... Good day. Quiet. <laughs> Except some of them are designed to fail. That's a thing. Pretty sure there's one vault that's just filled with ghouls because the door was designed to f fail. Not well enough. With only a fraction. <sighs> Great. Fantastic. That's that was my biggest hope. The living sections make use of our revolutionary floor suck auto cleaner system for those darned messy kids. Is that why the pallet? Is that why there's like the weird looking tiles with like the things in it? Because it's got a fucking sucking system in the floor. Again, I've had so many, and I just assumed you had some. Right, because men don't cook. Only women. And everyone loves muffins, obviously. Mm. Oh, the goat! This is not entertainment. That's learning. I mean, anything could. Anyone could listen to a symphony. That's not a good thing. That that's super not okay. Except Big Brother is watching. I don't I don't think I will. I don't think that's true. We hope you've enjoyed our tour today. If you have any further questions, please take a brochure from our helpful Vault Tech guides. Uh, there's no brochures anywhere around here, so I guess I don't get a brochure. Well, that was uh, a learning experience. Please don't crash. Okay. Speaking of learning experiences, I'm going to save here just in case the game crashes again. All right. So, vertebrates, right? Yeah, vertebrate. This is a scaled model of the prototype military transport vehicle being developed by the U.S. military, the v XVBOT. Vertibird is a VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing craft, with an extremely durable armored fuselage can, and can be armed with a variety of offensive weapons and defensive countermeasures. This is the most advanced aircraft of its kind ever developed, and the military hopes to press them into service by 2085. Pretty sure they're in service before that. I can't remember when the bombs drop when the world actually ends, but I know vertibirds, I'm pretty sure vertibirds are in use before that. And, damn it. Really hopeful there. And... Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Fuck... Wait. No, yeah. Fuck you. There's definitely super mutants around here somewhere. I don't know I didn't kill all of them. There's definitely more. Alright, what we got here? Exhibit under construction. Ooh. This exhibit is undergoing renovation. It should return soon. Thanks. Well, you're, you're, you're welcome. I saw movement. I hear movement. I knew it! I swung. Oh, boop. Boop. Here I am. The Delta 9 at Ro Delta 9 rocket was detonated by the United States Space Administration and by a grant from the United States Department of Antiques. Antiquities. It was donated. I was like, what the fuck? Why did a grant get you a detonated bomb? Oh, God. All right. Delta-9 rocket information. The Delta-9 rocket commissioned by the USSA in 2020 was the last of the manned rockets that sent our brave American astronauts to the moon. The Delta-9 was in use for almost 15 years before being converted for military use and having the crew and instrument sections replaced with a nuclear warhead. Great! The Delta-9 recorded over 77 successful launches, making one of the most successful rockets in U.S. history. All right. The rocket, developed entirely by the USSA scientists, was a single-stage vehicle with an ejectable crew section or satellite storage bay. The propulsion system was a nuclear electric deriv derivation? Derivit derivative derivative drive, using a massive electrical jolt to start the nuclear reaction on launch. The crew section was protected from the radioactive chambers by way of a massive titanium uh, vanadium, vanadium disc. 
The spacecraft had the capability to sustain two astronauts from up to 24 days maximum. The longest recorded spaceflight in a Delta IX rocket was the 17-day Zeus-12 mission to the moon. Show instrument section. Oh. Oh. So I can turn all the lights off. Okay. So that way you only have specific lights in specific areas so you know which one's which. I'm good. Is this the same thing? It is. Good. Okay. I was really worried there was going to be a bunch of different reading for each one. Are you attacking someone down below? I mean, if you were, he's dead now. What's this? Spacesuit. This is the actual USSA deep space suit worn by Captain Carl Bell on May 5th, 1961. Captain Bell is credited as being the first human in space on board the Space Capsule Defiant 7, but this has been constantly refuted by both the Soviet Union and China. Defiant 7's flight lasted for a total of 12 minutes and 7 seconds, as it achieved one full revolution around the Earth. Pretty sure that's not true. That's not historically accurate for us, so that makes me wonder about the deviation... Because I don't actually know when the deviation happened. I know there's lots of places you can find online. That'll tell you where the deviation is. Hi there! No, there's a body here. Oh! It's just the captain! Okay. This is the actual skeleton of Captain Carl Bell, who died May 5th, 1961, after his space capsule crash landed. Captain Bell is credited as being the first human in space aboard the blah 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 blah. But this has been constantly refuted by the same 12 bands, seconds achieved one, one floration on the Earth, donated by Edwina Bell. Oh, so her, his, uh, his wife donated his corpse to a museum, and they put it on display. You gotta, no, you didn't get the kill. Here, let me, let me help you with that. Never mind, you seem to have it under control. I just need to catch my breath. That's fine. That's, that's really... Valiant 12 flag. The, this unusual flag was recovered from the surface of the moon by the very last manned flight to the surface in 2052. The flag is from the old Valiant 12 Virgo 3 lunar lander that touched down November 14, 1969. Its remarkable condition can be attributed to, the cons to its construction. The flag is actually made from a special material to withstand the harsh environment of space. Alright, cool. Neato. Did I? I think I read that one already. That was, yeah, that was a spacesuit. I just wanted to make a note of... This look at this amazing spacesuit. This uh, this baby right there. That's what the real astronauts were. Solid chunk of rock. All right. I know that there was a guy down there and like they didn't loot him and stuff. But um, where did I come from? Is this is where I came from. Yes. So I wanted to head up. Just because I headed down before. Yeah, no, I read that. Nope. Where did I come from? Over here. Nope, definitely didn't come from over here. Pretty sure this is going to be the same on all of these. Yep. Okay. I could start turning off lights, showing each individual piece, but does anyone really care? Ah! No, that's not Mr. Minigun, but that was probably who you were shooting at that I couldn't find. Hey! I forgot I can do this now. Ah, damn it. Come on. Come on. Come on! No, 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 no. Yeah. Perfect. What does this gain me? There's a wrench, a hammer. What's this way? Is there something cool here? Well, oh, there's another terminal. Oh! Custodian key for tech museum. Alright, I'll take that. Hi! Game's over! No. Hurry up and die! I'm hungry! Oh, there's another one somewhere. Yeah, he's right down there. Jericho, get him, will you? I'm running out of uh, inventory space. <sighs> Is this all the same stuff? Due to increased power consumption? Yeah, okay, that's all the same ones, so I don't need to worry about that. When did you jump down? Did you run all the way around here just to go down there and get him point blank? And he somehow managed to, like, not hurt you at all in that time? This is a master, too! No! This was the... So, Super Mutant Masters were the top tier... Oh, Johnny Sorry. Were the shit. The top tier Super Mutants before the DLC hit. So, Super Mutant Master was the strongest Super Mutant you would run into. And then they... Uh, with the DLC, they added a lot of stronger versions of things that have variations such as that. So, the... Uh, shit. Shit. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. 
So the uh, the feral ghouls, they have another, another tier that shows up, so they above the glowing one in strength, which is why I was like, the glowing one is not the end-all, be-all of feral ghouls. We haven't run into any yet, which is fine with me, because by golly do they take a fucking beating. I think they're called Ravengers. But here is the reason we're here. Take dish. Let's learn about the Virgo 2. On July 16th, 1969, the Virgo 2 Lunar Laner, Valiant 11, became the first manned space vehicle to touch down on the moon. The Valiant 11's crew consisted of Captain Richard Wade, Captain Mark Garris, and Captain Michael Hagen of the USSA. We salute these brave and noble men who took the very first steps in the planetary body other than our own. Oh, well, good for them. Yeah, no, that's definitely post-deviation then, because I don't see the name of Neil Armstrong anywhere on there. I think Neil Armstrong was the first one to was he? Yeah, whatever. World War II flight med fight medals. Oh, they're, they're beautiful. The medals in this case were typically awarded to American pilots in World War II from left to right, top row to bottom. Medal of Honor, Distinguished Service Cross, Silver Star, Distinguished Flying Cross, Navy Cross, Air Medal, Bronze Star, and the Purple Heart. I know what some of those are, and I'm pretty sure at least most of them exist in uh, our world as well. I know the Purple Heart does. I know that to be fact. The other ones I'm not certain on, but a lot of them do sound familiar as things I've heard as being in existence. But as I've said before, I don't know things. Period. It's just that simple. I don't know anything. Want to like, want to hear information about a topic? Don't ask me. That's a corpse that I left there. All right. So something exploded. Um, where does this go? That's a body in a tin can. Turpentine. Turpentine. Awesome. Does this lead to? Nope. Does not lead to where I thought it was going to lead. Uh, don't care. Don't need to turn on turrets. I am okily dokily. Without doing that. I'll take some whiskey, though. And a gun. It's always good to find more guns. Alright. Uh, confusing? Hmm. Constructed. I'm going to try and see if it's an ing by finding another ing that only has the ing in common. I don't think there are any. So, it's definitely not an ing. But it could be a con. Constructed. Construct, not constructed. It's constructed. What the fuck? Freaking headphones flipping out. Ah. Oh, oh, oh! Find info terminals. Well, fuck me. Wait, does that unlock it, maybe? Maybe. Why does it feel like my left ear is no longer making any noise? Oh, but it didn't just break my headphones. Nah, I'm probably fine. Yeah, I'm probably just losing my mind. All right, so for security bulletin number one. Attention, all museum security personnel. The International Ordnance Museum has graciously loaned us some of their prized antique weapons for the firearms ex exhibition being displayed in the atrium. The exhibit will be played in place from August 14th, 2077 until December 31st, 2077. Please adjust your rounds accordingly and have an extra security presence in this area at all times. Bulletin number two. Attention all museum security personnel. I'd like to request that all riot gear and security firearms be moved to the new gun locker in the planetarium research office. Yes, please. The cabinet should remain locked at all times. The key to the cabinet must be carried by the duty shift supervisor and left in the security office safe when shift changes occur and at closing times. So right there. Security number three. Attention all museum security personnel. The Museum of Technology annual gala dinner will be held in, a, in the atrium on November 1st, 2077. We expect over 100 attendees, including several local dignitaries and heads of state. Please set up all security checkpoints to provide visible coverage for this event, as per security mandated 99078B in your handbook. I just felt like the security personnel thing should be that. Museum gun locker. Yeah. Requires... Oh. Wait, what? What? That was, the, that was the key to the... Unless that's what those are. Is that what these are? Maybe that's what these are. Okay. Okay. Well, I just... I flipped the... I pressed the, the zero zero there, and it said, find the information rules. So let me check these information rules again and see if that reset them. Find one that has the things at the bottom. Is this one of them? It's not. Well, that's annoying. Did I loot you? I did. Yeah, you're the master. 
I think there was one upstairs, like very nearby. Du, 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 du. And where is it? Maybe not as nearby as I thought. Oh, oh, here it is. Is it this one? Damn it! Didn't open it up. Fuck! I was actually really hoping that it worked. Alright, well. Is that where we came from? Yeah, it is. That's where we came from. So we didn't explore down here yet. Could be anything. There's, there's mushrooms. There are mushrooms. Can't pick any mushrooms in this game. This is pre mushroom picking. It's a shame, but hey. Far out space facts. Oh, good God. All right, space fact number one. The planet Jupiter is larger than a thousand Earths. Space fact number two. The outer layer of the sun has... The outer layers of the sun have what's known as differential rotation. The equator of the surface rotates once every 25.4 days, but near the poles it rotates once every 36 days. Space fact number three. A neutron star is completely dense, and solid matter. In fact, it weighs a trillion times heavier than lead. That means a piece of neutron star is this, the size of a pinhead would weigh as much as a large building. Space fact number four. The sun loses almost four million tons of mass every second by turning hydrogen gas into energy. That adds up to almost 30, 354. I can read numbers. I really can. 345 billion tons per day. Number five, if we were, if we were to send a message to someone on a planet belonging to our closest neighboring solar system, Alpha Centauri, which is almost 4.4 light years away, we would receive a reply message for 8.8 .8 years. Six, there are about 175 billion galaxies in the observable universe, each with as few as 10 million stars, up to giants with 1 trillion stars, all orbiting a common center of mass. 6. Nope, that was 6. 7. If all of the particles that make up Saturn's rings were gathered together, they would form a sphere about 120 miles in diameter. Uh, okay. 8. No, oh, I have a burp. Olympus Mons, a volcano found on Mars, is the largest known volcano in the solar system. It is 370 miles, 595 kilometers, across, and rises 15 miles, 24 kilometers. That's three times taller than Mount Everest. That's all the facts. That's all we got. Okay, cool. Please tell me it's the same facts. Please, God. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Is this one the same? Is there anything new here? No. Fantabulous. Is there anything else of interest? Doesn't look like it. Is there... I thought I saw a... Yeah, I knew I saw a door down here. Where is this? Oh, planetarium. Is there... There's no people in the planetarium. Alright. Welcome to the planetarium. Which I don't know what it's actually called, but I'm sticking with Copernicus Planetarium. Hmm, I thought I heard a growl. Anyway, plan change. Stop showing progress. No, I'll let it go. Ooh, dirty water. Ah, fuck off. Give me dirty water. Oh. Howdy, friends. That, 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 that. I think that means that we just attracted these guys by turning on the planetarium, or letting the planetarium turn on. Which is fine by me. Oh, and repeat it again. What's this way? Seems fairly broken. Ooh, pretty though. Ah, security room. First aid kit. Whiskey. Research labs terminal. Uh, did we already read all these? Yes, yes we did. Okay. Okay, cool. Fire's plague. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool. I'm glad I don't have to fuck you. Fuck you. Damn it. Never mind. Don't do that to me. Planetarium planetarium terminal. Alright. Really? No, not really. Healed. 
Maybe. Healed. Was it really? It was healed. I want to finish the museum in this episode, especially... Hey! Planetarium exit. Could not locate door to unlock. Fair enough, I guess. Seems like a waste of my time to hack that, then. No, because there's, there's no door there. Alright. Why couldn't it unlock the door? I don't understand! Oh, and this is in the other way we could have taken into here. Instead of going the up way, we could have gone over here. Got the Virgo dish. Makes sense to me. Alright, well, now that we've done that full circle, like, multiple times now, we need to go back outside. I'm pretty sure with that we have effectively explored everything. It's also still repeating the fucking planetarium subtitles on my screen. Even though we're far away from it. To understand why man is so interested in this unknown expanse of space around our little world, we must take a journey. To understand why man is so... Ah, please sit back and relax. Feel free to... No, no, that leads back to the other way. I want to go this way. Bye bye. Please don't crash. I'm going to save. I just remembered that I have to be extra wary about things breaking. But luckily this section's pretty pretty small. Nice easy exit. Just go right over here. I think we should end this episode on the Washington Monument. So let's go over there. You know, fight our way through whatever super mutants decide to crop up, which is probably going to be one or two. And I'll just, just go right on up to the top. Let's explore. Put the dish up. I think that finishes GNR. I don't think I have to go back to 3-Dog. No, I do have to go back to 3-Dog. Because I have to ask him about my dad. Bugger. Yeah, it could be worse. Are there any muties attacking at this time? Nope. Looks like we're good. Looks like this is all Brotherhood territory. Is it landmines? Just tin cans. Those are just tin cans. I'm not chancing it regardless. Because I don't want to get blown the fuck up. That sounds like a bad time. All kinds of bad time. Washington Monument. I was right. That's a bit of somebody. All right. Howdy there, friendo. Hey there. You know one of those reverends? He's a killer, a liar, a monster. In other words, he's talking about me. Bastard from Vault 101. Check it out. Do you know what a reaver is? Me. Do I need to go into this to open the door? Open outer security door. I do. That's what I thought. talking about he's basically announcing hey guess what you know what a reaver is that dickhead it's, uh dickbag mcscrote he's a reaver also he blew up megaton which is super uncool what's this i think there's supposed to be something here and it's it's uh it's not here and there's nothing for me to read and that just makes me all kinds of sad well i guess i can't bring jericho with me that's fine let's take the elevator up Oh, good. I actually get to ride the elevator. This terrifying open elevator that looks like it's going to fall apart at any second. Hope I don't die. It'd be really cool if the open areas showed, like, the actual outside in the city, but I understand why they don't. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man, I can't get a better view. Well... So that's the war zone, aka the mall. I'm trying to get a sort of view of. That's where we fought and killed a bunch of super mutants. It's all walled off, so you can't really get into anything. Pretty sure that's full of gunners. The equivalent of. It's full of um, mercenaries. They're not not friendly. Not friendly people. Which it's hard to find friendly people in this world, honestly, and I'm not one of them. Where do I put that dish? Do I just click this and it does it? Oh, here we go. Install. Bam! Look at that. Dunzo. Activate. Okay, full of strength. Good. Is there supposed to be somebody living up here usually? Guess not. Alright, well. That's uh, downtown DC. Yeah, there's a nice uh, entrance over there. Beautiful. Absolutely just stunning. 
You guys have a good night.